Hi, and thank you for watching this video about the upgraded BigLink Publisher Dashboard. We will give you a quick overview of the new features and how to best utilize them. These new features include time series comparisons, filtering by device type, and the ability to dynamically filter and sort the reports. All right, now let's get started. Once you log into your account, you will see the dashboard. You will notice that revenue is the default tab. In each tab, you will either see a green arrow going up or a red arrow going down to signify your performance relative to the time period you selected. For example, if you select the past 30 days, it will show you if you're up or down compared to the previous 30 days. And if you select the past seven days, it will show you if you're up or down compared to the previous seven days, and so on. The default date range will be the last 30 days. However, this is easily customized by clicking on the dates tab in the upper right hand corner and choosing a preset option or selecting a custom date range. Next to the Date tab, you will see a tab that says All Devices. When you click that tab, it will drop down a number of different device options, including desktop, mobile, and tablet. Click any one of these to analyze traffic that originated from the selected device. This gives you greater insight into the varying behavior of your audience based on which device they're accessing your content from. This information is extremely valuable to your overall content strategy. In addition to time series comparisons and filtering by device type, the dashboard now makes sorting and filtering much easier. Once you scroll past the graph, you'll see that the tab you chose above can be broken down even further. For example, if you've selected the revenue tab, when you scroll down, you will see revenue by merchant, link, page, and merchandise. You can sort the results that are generated in your dashboard by clicking the up and down arrows for the field you'd like sorted. Additionally to sorting, you can also filter by searching for a specific value, whether that be a merchant or a product name, URL, or a number. If you want to see results from more than one input, you can do that by adding two pipe characters in between the two words you'd like to search. For example, if you'd like to search ShopBop or Nordstrom, simply type ShopBop pipe pipe Nordstrom into the filter box. To see a range of numbers, you would use the greater than or less than characters along with two ampersand characters. For example, to filter by clicks greater than 30 but less than 200, you would use the greater than or less than characters by typing in greater than 30 and and less than 200. Once you've selected the filters you want, you can download the graph, print the chart, and or generate a CSV file. There you have it. This has been a quick overview of the first of many publisher dashboard updates. If you have any additional questions, please visit the BigLink Knowledge Base. Thank you so much. Have a great day.